Thank you for your presence here, joining our school community and celebrating our fond memories of our teacher, friend, colleague, Mrs. Janet Talbot. We are privileged to have Mr. Kilfay Talbot joining us for this memorial. From here today, not so much to mourn the loss of our local colleague, but to celebrate her life, a life she led to the fullest. The celebration of Janet's life is the culmination of input from colleagues, students, parents, and friends. Janet was the epitome of the IBM UIP level profile. We begin our celebration with the song Everything We Love to Be, sung by the Middle Primary and Year 5 students. This song was composed by Mrs. Mahola, myself, and Mr. Tim, and was inspired by Janet's selfless giving and her desire to see the best in everyone.
your primary of your time. I'd like to invite Dr. Marson forward to say a few words. Okay, 
what was going to be for you now? She said she kind of stood there. She wasn't needed, and it was there talking with the child. And I know that with my boys, when we arrive, I remember Janet vividly saying to Luke, my older boy, oh, that's great, I've got a classroom of six-year-olds just for you. And so Luke said, no, but I'm nearly seven. And she said, oh, well, that makes it all very different. And took him off. It was really this communicating with the child from day one, which was just so lovely. Um, just a couple of other things. I was talking to some staff, and then we'll get other recollections from staff, and the one that sticks with me most strongly is the member of staff that said, what I'll remember about Janet is the way she would throw her hip up and laugh. And I think we all know that. We know the Janet that I think you can see in the photographs here. The photograph of Janet a few years ago that was in the newspaper some weeks back. And you can see there's a big smile and a big laugh there waiting to come. And that for all of us was so important in Janet and that's how we we'll remember her. In talking, talking with Felipe again as part of Janet's wishes, there are donation boxes for the Red Cross and Save the Children in the foyer. There's a donation box. If you would like to, to give anything, please make your donations there. We will then send that off to Red Cross and to Fiji. We're hoping this can be a way that we can also think of Janet. My last thing is when last year I was applying, and I was thinking of applying for the job as principal, one in my head was I don't want to do it if, if Mary or Janet wants to do it. I don't want to come in as this kind of new person and jump in front of Mary and Janet. I remember saying to Janet, well, Janet, are you you're planning to apply? Just tell me and I'll stand back. And she says, no, 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 not at all. It's not what I want to do. But I'm really looking forward to working with whoever the new principal is going to be. And on a personal note, I'm very sorry that in fact I haven't had that chance with Janet, and I, I was looking forward to it as well. Thank you. Janet's creativity often led to larger than life events, and one event was our very first whole primary school art exhibition, the Sengura Art Exhibition held in 2008. Janet, together with Mrs. Nambola and Mr. Tim, composed the song Inquiring Mind, which was sung by Tia Balaluka and Elena Mangazete at the opening ceremony. We invite Latia and Elena to come forward to share this special song.
through intercultural understanding and respect. Her philosophy involved the encouragement of children to become active, compassionate, and lifelong learners who could understand that other people could also be right. What Janet held dear to her heart was that all students should be happy learners, blossoming in a happy environment. Janet was indeed the face of PYP at ISS. Janet immersed herself in the day-to-day -day organization of the primary area, becoming actively involved in parent information meetings, family nights with different year levels, library celebrations with Young Writers, Writers Day, where books, book characters came alive in costumes, PYP exhibition in year five, concerts, sports days, swimming carnivals, camps, assemblies, and families. We could always anticipate Janet's dressing up as a princess, fairy, or wicked witch in a disguise that portrayed and she portrayed with gospel. She had a wonderful passion for good literature and was always bringing words to life. She represented ISIS with such dignity and love. All primary students were privileged to have free and constant access to Janet's office and her listening room. Whether it was tall tales, tattle telling, the case of a falling tooth, missing shoe, lost friend, or small injuries, Janet's attention gave that little comfort and encouragement to the young, from early childhood to year five. When new teachers came to our shores to organize this, she assumed the role of advisor, confidant, friend, and mentor. I'm sure that these teachers left Fiji thankful and enriched for the nurturing and assistance of Janet's kindness. As she moved around the school, she brought a calmness and quality time presence with her. She was unique in her own down-to-earth demeanor, who took action on a daily basis to ensure her staff and the students in her care were supported. Staff and students will always cherish the times and special moments that we all shared with Janet during her outstanding span of service at ISS. Her involvement in several important committees will no doubt be mentioned by Dr. Anne Marston. She truly devoted her time to the development and future strategic plans of the school, spending many late hours, evenings and weekends attending meetings and simply being busy in her office. Janet's pride and joy were her three wonderful sons, Moses, Robert, and Joshua, who attended ISS from primary through to secondary. They all successfully completed the IB and all graduated with the delight of their loving parents, Janet and Felipe. Moses, Robert, and Joshua now reside in New Zealand after continuing their tertiary studies. Her smile of job well done really showed on her face when she shared news of their successes, dreams, and positive friendships. Staff and students and parents were recently touched by a visit to school from Janet in late March. Children surrounded her and flocked to say hello. Or simply touch her touch her hand. It was a happy but sad occasion for everyone as it was also a time to celebrate her birthday. Yet unknowingly, it was to be our last child for a fun farewell to a great friend. Shortly after her visit, we were shocked to learn of her sad passing on the 23rd of March. Felipe, we join you and your family at this time of sadness and grieving. Janet's legacy will live on in our hearts forever. For now, she is released from pain and suffering. Her light and love of life will never go out. She is released. The tapestry of her life is embedded in our lives as well. She has left us with many happy memories and lifelong lessons. I'm sure that Janet who want us to continue striving to be the best in everything. 
that challenges us in our journey each day. To conclude, I wish to quote from the hymn, Welcome Home. I quote, Welcome home, Janet, to the land of your freedom and joy. Let there be music, let there be song, for the tribe your life has been. Welcome home, unquote. We have a second of the moment.
I'm free. Don't pray for me, for now I'm free. I'm calling the past, God laid for me. I took his hand and I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I could not stay another day to laugh, to love, to work or play. Tasks left undone to stay every day. I found the peace and close of it. If my cutting has left a void, then fill it with remembered joy, a friendship, share, a laugh, a kiss. Ah, yes, these things I too will miss. But be not burdened with times of sorrow. I wish you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life has been full. I've stayed at much. Good friends, good times, a loved one's touch. Perhaps my time seems all too brief. Don't lengthen me now, be I'm too brief. Lift up your hearts and share with me. God wanted me now. He said it to you. Thank you, Ms. Dalton. Janet has been renowned throughout the time scale for her love of gardening, and she cultivated this love in our students by starting and nurturing our gardening club. As a symbol of our deep affection for her, we will plant a coconut palm in a tree, green cottage garden in her honour. We would like to invite Ms. Kathy Casatoka and Mr. Talbot Corbett to plant this coconut palm in the top of the It will then be transplanted, transplanted into the garden outside the green cottage.
that I have been next and generous of the years giving that to Chinkaria. We came over to Fiji as fresh graduates. Um, Jan had taught, I think, maybe for about 18 months in Israel, so international school. Silva has always been with her right. I think uh, if there was one thing about the international school uh, was that having started in 1980, as you said before, she always dreaded the day when possibly one of her students grandchild would come to school. So she would, have, she would say that whenever that happened, she would quit. Anyway, um, I'd just like to acknowledge uh, or say thank you again to the school for acknowledging whatever small contribution Janet may have uh, contributed to both or to the students, to the teachers, the colleagues, and to the community, the school community at large over the years. In our
service this afternoon for what we have shared afternoon tea. We have 30 balloons here, 30 yellow balloons, yellow being Janet's favourite colour, and each balloon represents the year of service that she has given to ISS. So I would like to invite forward all the people who have been um, invited to release these balloons to come and get a balloon. We're going to make our way up to the secondary heart court and gather around the people who have the balloons who are going to release them into the sky to show our appreciation for Janet and all the years that she has been here by ISS. So can I please invite the staff on this board to come and collect the balloon please? I invite the primary school captains and vice captains forward, as well as our senior school captain head students forward, please. Is our president of the PTFA, Mrs. Canton, is available to also come forward? Our Chair of Council, Mr. Hullaby. Mrs. Hullaby, would you like to do on his behalf? Sister Annette from the Hand of Compassion, would you please come forward? Our heads of school, please come forward. Yes. And we'd like to invite any parents Mr. Stice, if you'd like to come forward as a representative of our alumni, thank you. Another six parents to come 
four, six. What else or they never please come here? If I could ask the people who are releasing the balloons, if you could make your way out to the hard court first and stand close knit together, and then kind of like primary teachers, can you take your classes out from a circle around the people who have the balloons? You go first, and then our secondary pastoral teachers take your classes, followed by our community. Thank you.